Hi, Phil Aston here from Now Spinning Magazine with another book review and this time it's Ian Gillen and it's a visual biography and this one is a paperback and it is by Andy Francis. This one is heavy, very much heavier on photos and fairly large font and more kind of memorabilia based in a way but anyway before I give my summary let's have a quick flick through and so you can see what it's like. So this is Ian Gillen, a visual biography by Andy Francis and with all the book reviews I'm not going to go through every single page we'll just give you a quick overview so you can see you know some of the things you might get with it um, but this is more uh, as I'll say in the summary it's more focused on um, photography really um, so that large font there's not that much text but there's some great photographs and as I, again I'll say in the summary there's some I've never seen before the quality is good some of the pictures are probably very rare and put from private archives um, that have been researched and it's just a, a wonderful piece piece of rock and social history looking at these pictures you know I, I, I enjoy looking through um, the pictures and looking at the the audience or the other people on the pictures as well some of the mark II stuff you may have seen before um, but a lot of this stuff when he formed a Gillen band was quite new to me and I love the fact you know these kind of promotional pictures which must be quite rare especially the Ian Gillen band which I adore by the way um, but there's some great great things in here there really is I would have liked a bit more text I would have liked a bit more story um, but of course the clue the clue actually is in <laughs> the title of the book <laughs> it's a visual history so there's lots of visual stuff in it um, but I'll give a quick summary now but it goes through all the way right up until most recent periods of Gillen's time with Deep Purple finishing with a picture here from September 2014 the Night of Guitars in Lyme Regis where Ian lives um, great stuff and of course the last one of course 2022 on the 25th of October Birmingham Arena with um, Simon McBride Bride now in the band as well so here's a quick summary and my thoughts that's Ian Gillen a visual biography by Andy Francis and my the reason why I like this book is that there are certain parts of Ian Gillen's career which are everywhere and there's so many photographs that I know off by heart and when you when obviously somebody goes to the archives and tries to find photographs that no one had ever seen before we're getting to a stage with musicians of this vintage where the photos that haven't been seen before are being left there for a reason maybe they're not very sharp they're a little bit you know they're not as they're not as good as the photographs that were used at the time for promotional purposes and there there might be some of those in here but overall the interest in them as you saw when I went flick through it um, you know the early ones etc I just love seeing it it's a it's another window into a musician's life a musician I followed my entire life and I have a deep connection to Deep Purple and the, the people who've sailed within that ship and so I found this very very interesting and some of the purple stuff obviously I know very very well but even then some of the pictures weren't the obvious ones um, some are perhaps um, but for, for many of you out there you you probably haven't seen these before um, the period that I really liked um, because it's it's more mysterious and less publicized is of course the 1973 to 1978 period you know when Ian Gillen is looking at the Ian Gillen band and getting involved in jazz fusion and stuff uh, I found that I found that fascinating and um, you know the hotel destinations and stuff and him, pictures of him casually having a beer um, or two I found that was really really cool and of course 19 sorry 1978 to 1982 is also a period when a lot was going on in Gillen's life I love these the pictures of him with the cut off denim jacket and stuff I remember that period so well um, he, I felt like he was my mate who I never met um, brother from another mother is that what they say and then of course you've got the you know the Sabbathy stuff and um, and then of course Purple Returns but there's some great great pictures so if you're an Ian Gillen fan I would give this give this a look well you've had a quick flick through 
um, with me. Um, but but I, I think it's a, a great book. A bit light on text. Um, so unlike, say, the, the, the rainbow one, which has got the kind of, it's text heavy, it's a different animal. Um, or the Def Leppard book I reviewed recently as well, um, which is, again, different. But the kind of book where you can keep going back to and, and dipping into and you'll get constant enjoyment out of. This one is a bit more, as I say, lighter on that. This is more pictorial and, and it doesn't go into as much detail. But there are other books for that. So this is fine. This is a niche book for people that want to have to fill in a gap in your Ian Gillen jigsaw. Uh, but these um, books are from Weimar Publishing and um, they are a fantastic publishing house that really have dedicated um, sections for rock bands. Go onto their website and you'll be amazed on how many books there are out there. They also do a lot of publishing for Martin Popoff as well and of course you know it's great to, to know that you can get his books here in the UK as well via Weimar Publishing so check them out. So thank you for watching, thank you for being here, thank you for subscribing and ringing that little bell. Um, check out the website at nasbidding.co.uk and I shall see you very, very soon.